Hi, welcome to What's Cooking with Rochelle. Today we're making an American classic zucchini bread. If you've never had it and you like banana bread, you've got to give this one a try. To me, you can't even taste the zucchini. If I gave it to you and told you it wasn't in there, you wouldn't even know. So to get started, uh, what we're going to do is grate our zucchini. Now, I am making enough for two loaves. So if you want to only make one, cut the recipe in half. Um, we are just cutting off the heads and tails and we are going to grate this. And that's that. Okay, so we've got the zucchini grated. Now the first thing we need to do is combine our wet ingredients. So we have three eggs. And um, you could absolutely grate the zucchini by hand. Um, and you could absolutely use a mixer for the part that I'm doing right now. We're just doing it by hand for a change. Okay, three eggs. Let's give them a quick stir. Okay, and to this we are adding honey as our sweetener. Um, because I'm making this a little bit healthier version, if you don't wanna use honey, you can use white sugar or brown sugar, whatever your preference is. Um, for white sugar, I would use about a cup and uh, the same amount for brown sugar. So we're gonna add our honey. So again, you're adding about a cup of honey. And then incorporate that into the eggs. Okay, our other liquid ingredients that we have here. Um, we have a teaspoon of vanilla. That's our flavoring. And then also to make it healthier, instead of using uh, vegetable oil, we're actually using coconut oil. So I have one cup of coconut oil. If you don't like coconut oil, you could um, use canola oil. Um, you could use a light olive oil. Um, Grapeseed, maybe. Okay, so next we're adding a stick, which is a half a cup of softened butter. And we're just going to combine this with our eggs. And again, if you're using a mixer, this would go a lot faster. But I'm just showing you, you can do it without really any tools. If you don't have any, or if you've got time on your hands. Okay, let's get that in there a little bit more. Because once we add the flour, we're going to really beat it. Okay, to this we are adding a teaspoon of nutmeg, two teaspoons of cinnamon. So you could see kind of like banana bread in that respect. And our oven is ready for us. We're not ready for it yet. Okay, to this I am adding a teaspoon of salt, three cups of all-purpose flour, 
And again, if you wanted to substitute uh, another flour, you absolutely could. Um, just follow the ratios that they recommend. We have a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, and this will help us to get all that butter combined, as you can see. And then we're going to add our zucchini in just a second here. Make sure you get the butter combined. Now, if you're using a mixer, uh, you can dump it all at the same time. Let's add in our zucchini. Look at all that wonderful zucchini, guys. Okay. And you're gonna wanna just mix in the zucchini. And that is it, if you can believe it. That's as easy as it gets. See how the zucchini is adding the liquid back into it. Um, now, some other things you can do if you like nuts. Um, you can add nuts, you can add raisins, you can add chocolate chips, uh, whatever your preference is. We're making it the basic way. You can add any of those following. Um, Pecans, walnuts, um, you could even do uh, maybe cashews. They might be too soft. All right, there we go. Now, like I told you, we're going to do two pans. And you do want to grease your pan. So I have a little bit of coconut spray here for them since we did the coconut oil. Okay, so those are done. You're going to want to divide this uh, evenly between the two pans. And we're going to press it down. It will... Uh, not quite double in size when you're cooking it. Um, so depending on how big your pan is, whether you need to do two pans or one pan, these are a traditional loaf pan here. Um, other fun things you could do, you could add, like I've done, to other ones, um, flax seeds or chai seeds or other healthier stuff in with it. Okay, let's just get a little bit more. Right, we are good to go. We are going to pop these in the 350 degree oven and you're going to know they're done when you can put a toothpick in it and it comes out clean. So I will see you back here in probably 40 minutes. Okay. Ah, it smells delicious. I'm going to let this cool down for just a minute so I don't burn my tongue and my hand. And then we'll take it out and get to eat the best part of every day. See you back here in a few. 
Okay, time to eat. Who doesn't love some zucchini bread? Look at this, guys. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm. Mm. Wonderful. Fluffy. I always eat mine with just a little bit of butter. Mm. Mm -hmm. As I say, finger looking good. <laughs> Thanks for watching What's Cooking with Rochelle. Please subscribe. Love to have you as one of my followers. And if there's anything you would like me to make for you, just let me know. I'll be happy to hack that recipe for you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.